Now for the disastrous uh, Jenk story. Like your friend from school, mm -hmm. uh, we saw that uh, um, mom, uh, Mama Rabbit had been run over in the street, and in our yard there were six little bunnies oh. of hers that were unprotected and on their own, and we thought they weren't going to survive, so we took them in. And now long-time listeners of the Young Turks have heard this story before, especially if they're members. And so we took two, we gave two to a Turkish neighbor and two to an, you know, American Italian neighbors, the Venetas, right? Mm -hmm. The two at the Venetas, perfectly fine. The two at the Turkish neighbor, dead as a doorknob. Uh, two at our house, dead as a doorknob. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what we did? We don't know anything. There wasn't Google back then. We don't know how to take care of baby rabbits. We fed it human milk. Oh. Well, actually, cow milk. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Disaster. By the way, if we had fed it human milk, that's the only way it could have been more disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is disgusting. <laughs> so anyway, we gave it normal milk and they exploded, you know, and they, and one of them died and I was so upset and my parents told me that the other one ran away. I only found out like 20 years later that it hadn't, it had also died. And I, when I found that out, I was like, oh, of course, what was I thinking? You know, they thought I was so upset because I did a funeral for the little bunny oh. rabbit. So they didn't want me to get, but the reality is I was having fun with the funeral. I mean, I was upset, but it wasn't like it ripped me apart and I wasn't having nightmares about it. It wasn't like the silence of the bunnies or anything. That is an awesome story. How old were you at this time? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, probably around 12 is my best guess. And did you, did you cry when the bunny died? I don't think I cried. I was always a tough little Turkish kid. Right. But I did, like I said, I did have a funeral procession. 